3 d artists, we need to talk. AI is learning to create 3D models, textures, animations, even full scenes faster than most of us can. So the question is, what's going to be left for us to do? In this video, I'll show you why node-based workflows are becoming the only way that 3D artists can survive and stay relevant in the coming years with this AI bloom and why Blender is the best place for us to start. This isn't just about staying creative, it's about staying employable. Let's face it, most of us 3D artists learned the traditional way. You model an object by hand, tweak every vertex, unwrap the UVs, texture it, and render. Of course, we could use some modifiers, but that's beside the point. The problem is that AI can now generate fully textured models, sometimes even with clean topology from just a single prompt. And while it's not perfect yet, it's improving rapidly. We're talking about months, not even years, before AI matches or possibly surpasses most artists in single-use asset creation. So if you only know how to model a chair from scratch, AI will definitely do it faster, cheaper, and in 20 different styles, maybe even better than you. So the real question is, what can you do that AI still can't? The answer is proceduralism, systems, logic, and design thinking. These are things that current AI still struggles with. Procedural materials, generative environments, simulation-driven motion, parametric asset generators. These are systems that take human planning and they're all powered by node-based workflows. Instead of making one model, you build rules that create hundreds of models with infinite variations if you desire. Instead of painting one texture, you create a procedural shader that adapts to lighting, age, and even wear and tear. That's something that AI can't just prompt into existence. Well, not yet at least. Node-based workflows are already the standard in most advanced software. For example, Houdini for VFX, Grasshopper for architecture, Unreal Engine's blueprints for gameplay logic, even DaVinci Resolve for color grading and editing. Learning to think in nodes is like learning to code visually. You're not just an artist, you become a technical designer. And once you learn node-based systems, you can learn other node-based systems really fast. It becomes second nature. Now, why Blender? Because Blender is the only software that offers node-based workflows for literally everything. Whether it's texturing, modeling, animation, compositing, simulations, and soon full physics and dynamics as well. All of this inside one single free open source package. You don't need five different subscriptions. You don't need a studio budget. Blender is available to everyone. Blender's development is also community driven. That means if an artist or dev needs something, they can build it, share it, or fork it. For example, there are many forks of Blender, like UPBGE, which allows you to create complete games using Blender and export it for Windows as an executable. Tools like animation nodes, Vertchalk, Malt, 
or even community created geometry node packs are expanding what's possible even faster than Blender's official roadmap. And with new releases like simulation nodes, Blender is evolving into a true procedural powerhouse. If 3D's future is procedural, Blender is already there. By learning node based workflows, you're not just learning software, you're learning how to think in systems. You become faster, more scalable, more adaptable, and much harder to replace. AI might create a chair, but it cannot build a generator that creates a thousand unique chairs with different leg styles, different materials, different wear levels, and different physics behaviors. Well, of course, not without your node graph. This is where human creativity thrives, in building the tools, not just the output. So if you're a Blender artist and you've been avoiding nodes, don't. Nodes are no longer optional. They are the foundation of how 3D is evolving. Start small, learn geometry nodes, dive into shaders, experiment with simulation nodes, watch some tutorials, and begin building your own systems. On this channel, I teach you how to do all of that because I genuinely believe that if you're node literate, you will be future proof. I strongly suggest watching my demystifying series where I go into everything you need to know about things like geometry nodes that most tutorials skip. There are videos like Demystifying the Voronoi Texture, which will give you an intuitive understanding of the algorithms that are used to create the texture along with what each and every socket and option actually does. This will allow you to truly take advantage of the nodes and become a more confident node-based artist. There will definitely be many more tutorials coming out, which will definitely help ensure that you remain future-proof and employable in this rapidly advancing world of AI. So subscribe if you want to join that future and remain future-proof. One last thing before we wrap up. This is my 400th video, so I'd like to take the time to actually thank each and every single one of you who regularly watch my videos while commenting and also liking and sharing. It really keeps me motivated and it's because of all of you that I'm able to release this many videos. For those of you who are new to this channel, welcome and note that I have 400 videos on this channel for you all to scroll through to get familiarized with this channel. There will be many more videos, tutorials, and other content coming up on this channel, including a short film that will be out by the end of the month. So until that one comes out, thank you so much for watching, keep creating, and don't forget to stay creative.